We're also staying on top of some other stories you need to know about tonight, including the fact that Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualteri is taking aim at a local we weapons company. The sheriff says hundreds of AR-15 rifles purchased from the gun manufacturer are faulty. Tennis reporter Eric Glasser shows you what the sheriff says is wrong with those guns and why he believes it could put his deputies in danger. Right away, uh, we started seeing some issues. Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Galtieri says he wants a rifle refund. The sheriff says 309 AR-15 rifles that his department ordered dating back to 2014 have been nothing but trouble. To pull the trigger and it didn't go bang, uh, and that's a big problem. Uh, that's an officer safety issue. It's a public safety issue. The guns in question were manufactured by a company called Adams Arms in Odessa. Galtieri says it started with trigger troubles. Later on, some of the weapons switched on their own from semi-automatic to fully automatic fire. Then recently, he says, the final straw, when one of his deputy's weapons failed to fire at all while taking practice at the gun range. The thing was, in essence, useless. It was no more than a stick or a club. There's nothing you could do. It wasn't going to fire a bullet, and that's a problem. The sheriff's office says Adams Arms had offered to inspect and test all of the rifles, but Gualtieri says at this point he just wants a $300,000 refund. The company hasn't decided if it'll do that yet, but the sheriff says if they don't, he'll sue. I'm not going to have you know, deputy sheriffs out there carrying uh, guns that are supposed to protect themselves or others that don't shoot and are capable uh, of being fixed in the field. The sheriff says this particular weapons purchase was not made through a bidding process. Sheriffs don't have to do that. Instead, the company had been recommended to them. They've now turned to one of their other weapons suppliers, a company called Rock River, to replace the 300 weapons they'd taken off the streets. Uh, I don't relish having to go through a lawsuit process, but if we have to, we will. We're going to get our money back. The sheriff says they originally liked the idea of buying the Adams Arms AR-15s because the company's local. It uses piston technology for its firing mechanism, and the price was right. We reached out to Adams Arms several times today. So far, it has not given us a comment. Now, the AR-15 rifle is semi-automatic. It's lightweight with rapid fire, a pistol grip, and an adjustable stock. It's been used in several mass shootings, including the theater in Aurora, Colorado, a music festival in Las Vegas, Sandy Hook Elementary, the Sutherland Springs Church in Texas, a holiday office party in San Bernardino, and Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland. Connecticut gun manufacturer Colt recently announced a stop in production of the AR-15 because it thinks there are already too many available. It's not going to make the civilian version, but still is making them for military and law enforcement. A firearms industry attorney told Military.com there are more than 16 million AR-15s in private ownership right now in the U.S.